What is up everybody on YouTube? It is Ben Alberti here with a quick, quick video. Um, I bought these KD10s, the Amp Pearls, because I actually had early access to them because I was a Nike Plus member. And so I picked them up right here. But I didn't get them in my size. I was actually trying to flip them. But I took the L, it's a flop. It's not worth reselling. So I'm actually going to return these. Um, you know, no loss to me. Just wait, get my money back. It's all good. But I thought I'd make a quick video and show you guys what the, what the shoes look like, the materials it's made of and all that. Um, I can't put it on feet because it's not my size. If it was, I actually could and still return it through Nike, but I'm not going to do that even if it was. But right here in the box, it's pink. You see the big the big X right there for 10. Right there is the little, you know, the box or whatever. Size 8.5. Smaller size go for a little bit more money, so that's why I got 8.5. When I first saw the shoe like in person, I was like, wow, the materials are kind of different. You know, it's actually pretty sweet. Um, I've had a pair of KD 10s before to play basketball in, and they were not comfy. They helped me jump higher, you know, they had a good like bounce to them, but they were not comfy. They were too narrow. But I will say this shoe is pretty sweet. Like this has a fly knit upper, but at the same time, if you see where it's a little more like light pink, that's like a velvet, like a felt or something. It's like kind of like a suede. It's actually really nice. Um, up top right here, this upper half right here where it says KD, stretches really nice. It has a good look to it, honestly. Like I said earlier, upper toe box is flying in. On the back, you can see there's actually wings. Um, I'm assuming this is for breast cancer for his aunt. I'm honestly not too sure the entire story. It's just kind of like what I looked up or what I heard, uh, but I definitely don't, do not remember. So if I'm wrong, don't like kill me. But yeah, velvet right here, same thing right here in the back. It's actually really nice material, and this is actually a pretty sweet shoe, especially the fact that it's, it's pretty flexible right here, kind of gives it, I bet, really nice comfort. This shoe right here retailed for $150. With taxes, it came out to $162. But yeah, guys, I just thought I'd do a quick look at this shoe. Nothing special. I can't give you like a really in-depth review of it because I'm not going to wear it, and I'm not going to put an outfit together with it. But overall, the concept, I think it's really dope. The color, I think it's really dope. Yeah, the colors, I think is really dope. And the concept, I think is really dope. And the materials made out of it is really nice. I think they did a really good job with this shoe. One thing I just don't like is KD10s are too narrow. So if I actually were to buy these, they would not be comfortable. So if you're actually in the market of buying these shoes or any KD10s at all, I'd recommend going half up a size because basketball shoes fit pretty tight and these are pretty narrow. So definitely do that. But like I said, guys, quick, quick video, and that is going to be it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe. More videos on the way. More in-depth videos, too. This is just a very quick video. Uh, pretty simple. But that is it, guys. So stay fresh and stay fly. I'm out.